I remember talking to another expert in the field and he mm -hmm. said with regard to divorce, divorce is often worse and has a greater impact on a child than the death of a parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, could you explain a little bit about that? Maybe elucidate that a little bit more? Yeah, I think, um, and I think the other experts would agree that when there's divorce and a relative loss of a parent, they're there. Um, and when they're not there, um, it, it's not a final, it's not final. Right. You know, so they're there, then they're not there. Then they're there, then they're not there. And, and that can be at times very painful for the child because right. this uh, relative absence can sometimes be undependable. Right. They don't know when the parent's going to show up next. Right. And it can really affect them emotionally and psychologically. Right. Versus the death of a parent, that's final. It's final. You know, and it's they get tragic, to go into a grieving final. process. Yeah. Right. And that grieving process eventually will resolve. Yeah. But when you're uh, continually grieving. Yeah. When you're when you're when you're uh, seeing a parent for a weekend or so or. A, a week, you know, whatever the intermittent period is, and then the parent's gone and, and not in view, which brings about other other issues. Um, it, it, it's a it's a it's an on and off grief. Got it. And that has an, a, a tremendous impact upon the child. Got it. Now, keep in mind also, and I think we often forget that, that relatively speaking, time with a child is much different than time with an adult. And what do I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Compared to how long we've lived, mm -hmm. a day or a week or a month is much less percentage of our of whole lives. time yeah. mentally and psychologically yeah. than with a child. Yeah. You know, you take a child that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, a week or four days is a much greater percentage of time yeah. away yeah. for a child than it is for an adult. Yeah. I remember even going back to my hometown just recently when I was a kid, I remember traveling across from our house to the zoo mm -hmm. and it seemed like it was, you know, it was such a long trip mm -hmm. and now it's like, it's barely a trip at right. all. Yeah. You know? So it's, yeah, it, it's, it's the analogy all, to it. Yeah. 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 There's a constitutional attorney that I spoke with up in Dallas uh, many years ago and he wrote a, he was a contributor of a book and it, it was dealt with the issue of divorce. And yeah. One of the, the strong points was that from the filing of a divorce to the finalization, yeah. there should be a six month or two yeah. year up to a two year waiting period. Yeah, in some countries they have up to five years. Mm -hmm. they have two, in Europe it's a tends to be a longer waiting period. Uh -huh. The Philippines, I don't even think they permit divorce. Uh -huh. um, but you know, there's a correlation between a longer waiting period and the and reduced divorce uh -huh. in the United States. Mm -hmm. I mean, our 60-day period is not enough time. Mm -hmm. And there are some some people that say that we'll say you know your husband, your wife's having an affair, um, and the the other person still wants to keep the family intact, and still wants to say you know I want my marriage. I will be f willing to forgive my spouse, mm -hmm. whatever, and and. But 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 the, but from what I've heard from other people, and mm -hmm. I don't know the research behind this, but typically a person in an affair, it often is a two-year run mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. So even in the, in the case of adultery, ongoing adultery, person having an affair nonstop, um, though that is a, a fault-based reason for divorce, mm -hmm. if the person wants to keep the marriage intact for mm -hmm. whatever reason, I think that they should be given the time necessary. So that possibly the person would say, I, I knew a person I went to church with, said this, he called this his crazy period of life. Mm -hmm. And fortunately for him, mm -hmm. his wife waited. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he was a Christian at the time or not, but he just went completely off the deep end. He came back, they had a great marriage afterwards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've seen a number of people that have survived infidelity. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that in the midst of infidelity, if you get divorced right away, especially the person committing the infidelity, mm -hmm. they may have regrets later. Mm -hmm. And there's work to do to restore a marriage, mm -hmm. but a longer waiting period may help to save the marriage and save the family. Mm -hmm. Because regardless of the reason for divorce, even good divorces, whatever those are, mm -hmm. you know, it does impact children. Oh, it 